Once upon a time, you could only find them in the countryside, but now they're popping up in our cities as well. And on the search for them, some of Britain's 10,000 orienteers. It's a race against the clock around a course using a map you're given at the start. So the idea really is to get from the start here, which is always shown by a triangle on the map, to the finish, visiting all of these points in order. So the aim is to go as fast as you can, but try not to make mistakes because then you end up losing time. So the start of 1.5 kilometres, where actually finding the control points could even be more challenging because of all the buildings. It's a jungle out there. It's made the sport a whole lot quicker. It's taken it out of the forest where it's traditionally based and just moved it into a whole new area where it's all about speed, of speed of running and speed of making your mind about where you're going to go. I think we want to go down this way, watch out for the steps. So we're still along the side of that building. Yeah, you don't really think about the running, it's more about the map reading, isn't it? It is. Aha! There we are, look. we got it. We got it, number two. It's not just about being the fastest runner, but more importantly, reading those minute details on the map correctly. Ah, it's closed. You can see here we've got that fence. Looks like a great route. There's a little tiny fence in there. Let me just show everybody there. Through. Somewhere there, there's a little tiny fence. There, I think. Is it? Oh, there's a, he's, he's got one, has he? And don't think you can just follow others either. Look, he's got it. Have you got a. Oh, he's, no, he's getting a football. That's oh, right, I thought you were looking for a control point, sir. You have to be alert. <laughs> I mean, the best one, the best people can read the map yeah. as you're moving. Someone's about to overtake us, I think. He knows where he's going. Oh, God, he's got there first. Oh, dear. Catherine tackles courses with a whole family. One, one, two. Can you find it anywhere? Including six-year-old Anna. The right number? Yeah. Yay, well done. And moving into the cities has helped the sport boom again with 59 clubs. And in addition to the temporary courses like this one, there are 500 permanent ones across the UK. It's not just about getting lost in forests. You don't need a compass to come and try it. You don't need to be fit. You don't need to be sporty. Um, you can do it with your family. You can do it with friends. You can do it on your own. And you can come and do it at places like this where you might not think that you can come and try it. The British team will be hoping for medals at the World Championships in Estonia this month, while at the other end of the scale... Oh, I know we are. The finish. Oh, oh dear, forgot that bit. There is a lot to think about, and I've gone way off piste, which is why I was some way behind the winner who completed the course in 10 minutes. Mike Bushell, BBC News, in Salford. Well done, Mike. Yeah, Mike will be telling me off now. Yep. But I see, I like it. I, I think it's, Good. it's a great sport. Well, he always inspires us to do he more. Does. The